Space Dandy. It's about a dandy guy in space. Jotaro, with the help of a washing machine with wheels and a useless stowaway cat thing, search the galaxy for spooky, unregistered aliens. But little do they know that a gorilla and a bean with legs follows them around and tries to capture Dandy. Except in every episode, they fail because why not? So the arrogant, stupid Johnny Bravo and his 2D, inverted, obsessed cat are the slackers of the group with their main motives being eating, money, and boobies. And QT is an auto-tuned robot that tries to keep them on track but usually fails. He's kind of like a baby. Oh yeah, this is a boy. For half the thing, I thought this was a girl. Uh, robot trap? <sighs> But the really interesting thing about this show is how much it experiments with itself. And what I mean by this, it doesn't stick to a simple guideline or plot. Yep, that's not a real show, what the fuck? The Joker, baby! Um, it's just one of those things I shouldn't really explain, you could just kinda watch on your own. Which is another reason why you should watch Space Dandy! For example, in one episode they could be racing and going pew pew and pshh. And another, they could be living their life as a zombie. It just does whatever it wants, which leads to some of the best moments in the show. I know the idea of traveling to new planets and meeting new characters on those planets has been done before. The thing that separates Space Dandy from Cowboy Beep Beep is that they don't just treat a planet as a stage just for the characters to communicate on. They take full advantage of the environment to explore and learn new things rather than just as a place to talk about shit. So I guess a good way to look at it is that the setting is actually relevant. It's a constant new setting which is really refreshing, especially if you're used to watching the same old show, the same old setting, and the same old episode. Well, I guess I shouldn't have said that in every episode. They also experiment with colors and images and concepts, which really makes the show beautiful at times. Another way this show really shines is in it's comedy. It's not one of those cutesy, funny, <laughs> Hell no. This shit's actually funny. It manages to be one of the only shows that can include pop culture and not make it seem cringy and forced. I don't want to spoil too much of it. Oh, but the ending? <laughs> the ending. That shit's great. That shit's amazing. It also has a dark sense of humor at times, which I know someone like me and probably a lot of you guys would also really appreciate. A JoJo reference. The OP is great. It's unique. It's funny as hell. I mean, for fuck's sake, the first sentence is about boobies. If that doesn't hook you in, watch another BuzzFeed video because that's, that's about as entertaining as you are. Yeah. I dab on the haters. Get on my level. This show had a lot of hype for some reason. It died. But if you want to watch a really underrated show, I definitely recommend Space Dandy. If you haven't watched anime before, this is also a great place to start because it's not like all the mainstream shit you would expect from an anime. Also, I believe this is the first anime to be released as a dub first rather than a sub. And let me tell you, the dub's fucking amazing. If you're watching the sub, you're a fucking moron. So yeah, watch Space Dandy. If you don't like it, then go, go die. <laughs> Follow not Cloudy on Twitter.